what's up welcome back to the channel i am miss lovely back with another v not no this ain't no vlog this is just a video um hope y'all are doing well i am doing well happy lovely it's a lovely day in the neighborhood okay i told y'all i was gonna stop saying what day of the week it is because ain't no telling when y'all gonna look at this video and but it is early in the morning and my voice does sound quite raspy y'all already know how we go we wake up in the morning we sound kind of raspy well at least i do anyway but anyway have y'all had water today i ain't had my water today but i'm about to drink some of my water but anyway Anyhow, y'all, I just wanted to come on here and this would have meant to talk to y'all about. So, as most of you know, just in case of you guys don't know, um, recently I had a young lady, beautiful young lady, I love her so much. She always constantly showing me so much love on her channel. And her numbers are a little bit higher. Well, significantly higher than mine here on social media okay and she's always saying my name on her channel obviously she likes me obviously she feels some kind of way about me okay obviously she sees something in me that wants that makes her want to come back to watch my videos because she makes it known that she watches my videos for one, she watches the video and she comments on my videos, okay? She obviously see something in me, okay? What it is, I don't know. But whatever it is, I'm very appreciative of that. And that's my only desire here, you guys. To be a light to other ladies out here. Um, she, she, her last video that she made, it was basically saying, and I'm just kind of piggybacking off of what she said. She basically said that somebody was in her comments and was kind of trying to figure out why was she always trying to shout other YouTubers out. Um, or, or something to that effect. And her response was. She, most of the time, most of the time that she shouts people out that have a lower following than her. So really, she has nothing to gain. That, to me, says that's what bosses do. When you're a good boss, you raise up aspiring bosses. In this community, well, not the Ashy community, but this community, y'all get what I'm saying. In this community... That's what we should be doing because in other communities, I'm not going to, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put it out there, but y'all get what I'm saying. In other communities, they're always putting each other on. But in our community, if we ain't got a number status, if we ain't driving the latest and the greatest of our, of our house, or we ain't got the, the, the latest Chanel bag or the, or the, the nicest Louis Vuitton sun, pair of sunglasses or we don't have the, the the Cartier bangles we ain't winning and that's not that's not that's not how it should be I know I'm winning regardless if I got 3,000 subscribers if I got 10,000 subscribers if I got 100,000 subscribers or if I got 300,000 subscribers it don't matter because of the number count here on social media I know I'm winning why I know I'm winning because I've lost everything I've lost so many times I've lost everything so now now it's my time now it's my time and I know that I am winning, okay? So when you are a boss and you see other bosses out there grinding, you're supposed to lift another boss up. Bosses recognize bosses when they see them. They see them a mile away. So you have to be very, very careful of how you entertain people because you never know who you're entertaining. You might look at a lady. I'm sitting in the grocery store parking lot right now. And I'm at Aldi right now as we speak. And it could be a young lady, man or female, look like they ain't got much. 
but they could have everything. They 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 could have so much money in the bank. But because we look at the outer appearance, we automatically prejudge them as them not having anything, but reality, we could be sitting amongst that could be a millionaire. That could be a billionaire. We never know who we're entertaining. You never know who you're sitting amongst. Okay? So be very careful about how you treat people because it always comes back, folks. It always comes back 360. It always comes back. Karma ain't waiting for tomorrow to come. Karma is coming back today. And that's good or bad. So whatever kind of seeds you plant, whether it's good or bad, just know that it's always going to come back. So I say all that to say, Gina, Janine said it. Okay? That's a boss. She recognizes a boss. Okay? And I don't need numbers to justify that I am a boss. I don't need social media to justify that I'm a boss. Okay, this I am a boss. I am winning. You feel what I'm saying? I have a testimony. I've been through hell and high water. I've been through the mud and back. Okay, but now the the opportunity has presented itself. A boss, a bigger boss has a, has has laid eyes on an aspiring boss, and she's trying to uplift. That's all she's trying to do. And that's what we all should do. If you guys always, if you guys notice, I'm always shouting other channels out, regardless if they're a bigger channel or a smaller channel. If I enjoy your content, if I enjoy watching you, and I'm going to make it known that I, I watch you. I've mentioned several other YouTubers plenty of times, and y'all know that. I always mention other YouTubers here on my channel. I don't look for nothing in return. I don't have to, I don't need nothing in return because I know where my source comes from, okay? I I know my purpose here on this platform. And, and that's to inspire and to pour into other women's lives. That's what we should do. I don't care about the numbers. The numbers don't matter. The numbers are going to come. My gift will always make room for me. And that's what I say to you ladies gentlemen men women whatever you whoever's watching this be careful how you treat others because you never know how it may impact them never always be careful how you treat others because you never know who you're entertaining you could be entertaining a millionaire and don't even know it you could be entertaining an angel and don't even know it so be very careful be very mindful of how you treat people so when you bless others god blesses me when I pour into others, God pours into me. Now I'm going to let that sink. I'm going to let that soak. I need you to let that soak. All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you keep looking good. Make sure you keep smelling good. And I'll see y'all on my next video. Peace. Oh, baby, calling it wasted love.